Welcome back. I'm Karen Pugliese. At issue today, preaching politics. NDP MPP, Sherry DeNovo's party, is currently in opposition to their Liberal government. DeNovo was first elected to Queen's Park in 2006 to represent the Ontario provincial riding of Parkdale High Park. During that election, opponents brought up Sherry's past life as a street kid and tried to use it against her. It turned into what political observers have called one of the worst public smear campaigns in Canadian political history. Welcome back, Sherry. Pleasure. Were you prepared for that? Not at all. Not at all. It was, as I've described to others, a kind of living hell uh, because it not only put my, myself through that, but it also put my family through that. And it, in some ways, uh, as egregious, it put my congregation through it, many of whom were still street involved and were still homeless. So I was a vision of hope for them. And I use the story of my homelessness and my street uh, involvement and my drug involvement as a story of hope. So it was, it was not news to anybody. I preached it from the pulpit. But what it said to them is you'll never escape your past, is that you'll never move on from here. And so that was the worst part of it for me. Yeah, because I think they were, they were linking. There was an interview. We were talking during yeah. the break. There's an interview mm -hmm. that you did with Vision TV. And Absolutely. that was posted up, and you'd been talking about my drug, drug involve, involvement back then. And again, that was not news. I was 15 years old. Uh, I, I, I talked about this in many, many contexts. And it's not news, actually, for most of the boomers, quite frankly, to be honest. So a lot of it was hypocrisy. But a lot of it also um, was a, a way of slapping back, I think, those who are drug involved or alcohol involved, who are street involved, and who are trying desperately to change that and to make some of themselves and you know here they saw their minister who they you know they admired for doing that and and what they heard through the smear campaign was that you you know that that's not good enough um, it doesn't matter how many degrees you've got it doesn't matter what you've done in your life post then um, this will continue to define you uh, forever so I mean that was very sad well do you regret <clears throat> being so open about your past no I mean I never regret telling the truth I don't regret telling the truth because uh, the reality is that uh, the truth will find you if you don't tell it anyway. And, and I, I find it incredibly hypocritical of those. Uh, and it was pointed out to be so, you know, that, that many of those who use this against me had also used drugs, had also been drug involved. Uh, they may not have been homeless, but I, I, I mean, this is a, not an unstandard boomer story of somebody who lived through the 60s and the early 70s. So I, I'm quite happy to be the, the spokesperson for those who are either afraid or intimidated about telling the truth. But I think one of the first things anybody learns who's been through a 12-step program or anything else is the first thing you do is you tell the truth. So, um, no, I think being a Christian calls you to tell the truth, not to be ashamed or embarrassed about your past, but also to work through it and to and hopefully set an example for others so that they can as well.